In this video, you'll see how to use CloudWatch Logs subscription filters. With this capability, you can centralize your CloudWatch Logs log events, perform real-time processing of log data, and send log events to third-party partners. We'll begin in CloudWatch Logs, where we already have a number of log groups. A log group is a logical organization of different streams that share the same retention, monitoring, and access control settings. Let's find our ECS Pet Search log group and take a look at its log streams. We can drill down into any of the log streams to see the log events within it. We can also filter the log events uploaded to this log group by creating a subscription filter. Subscription filters scan your logs for a specific pattern and forward all matches to a destination of your choice for alerting, processing, or storage. Each log group can have two subscription filters. Let's create a Lambda subscription filter. We must first select a Lambda function to stream our log data to. We've already created a Lambda function for this example, so we'll use that. Here we can specify the specific filter pattern to apply. For testing purposes, we'll provide a name but leave the pattern blank. We'll test our blank pattern on one of our existing log streams. Since no pattern was specified, the filter returned every log event in the stream. Let's now specify a filter pattern that only brings up events containing the terms puppy and pet type. Let's test the pattern again. This time we see only 13 results, all containing the two terms we specified. Let's start streaming data to the Lambda function. Now, log events in this log group that include the two terms we specified will be sent to the Lambda function. Let's switch to AWS Lambda to take a quick look. Let's switch to the Monitor tab. Here we can see that our Lambda function was invoked in connection with the subscription filter. Returning to the CloudWatch console, we can also see the invocation by searching for the Lambda function among our log groups. Let's return to the Pet Search log group to create another subscription filter. This time we'll create a Kinesis Firehose subscription filter. For the purposes of this example, we've already created a delivery stream and an AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, role to use with this filter. So let's specify them both here. We'll give the filter a name and leave the pattern field blank so that all log events sent to this log group will be sent to the delivery stream. Now let's head to Amazon Kinesis Firehose to review the initial steps of setting up a Kinesis delivery stream. Here's the delivery stream for the subscription filter we just set up. Notice that its destination is an Amazon Simple Storage Service, or Amazon S3, bucket. Let's create a new delivery stream. We'll give this delivery stream a name and retain all the defaults until we reach the point where we can select a destination. We can use any of these types of destination for our delivery stream depending on our needs. Amazon S3 buckets are often used to store event logs in a centralized location. Amazon Redshift is an enterprise-level data warehouse service. Amazon Elasticsearch is useful for log processing, visualization, and querying. A custom HTTP endpoint can also be used. Or we can select from a list of third-party service providers. We can then configure our settings with a few clicks to start ingesting streaming data to our specified destination. You've just seen how to use CloudWatch Logs subscription filters. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.